Welcome back to Sunless Sea, where we have our new fantastic ship. Now, today's plan, or this journey's plan, is to do the southern counterclockwise route. So we'll hit up as much as we can on the way. And we have so much cargo space. We've got 40 and 20 for our supplies. And you know, for the size of the ship, it, it, it's, it's quite a turner. Though we do have a bit extra width, so we do have to be careful in some of the tighter spaces. And then, that's not where I need to go. I'm thinking the da damage is about the same, but we have tons of health to work with, so we can really kind of tank out, get some of the, the sea beasts that we've kind of ran away from in the past. Though now we have double the crew as well, so that may speed up the use of supplies. Though it doesn't look terribly fast. Oh, I think, yeah, that's a much bigger jump. So there might be some strategy in not maintaining a full crew. So we got that, so we'll do... Canal, yeah, this is kind of, or wait, yeah, canal. Oh, this is just, just a genocide. The poor crab. Take that, of course. 45 fragments to go. Yeah, now it's like having a battleship compared to my starter ship. And probably in the next round with my profits, I'll be... I, I, I'm not sure. I'll probably buy the unlimited uh, boosts without dying. Though I would like to buy the secure compartment so I can just do all sorts of just illicit smuggling for some high profits. Even though I have the hold where I could make good money without doing that. Oh, I could actually technically travel to the surface if I wanted. But... That's an expensive endeavor for the future. I still don't understand what this bar means and why does it not go all the way for hunger it's just so strange or maybe you have the extra hunger before a crew dies if you run out oh yeah let's do this Stay out of this blue boy. That's right. Supplies fuel plus some shintelak. I'm gonna duck down here. Mm, what was that? A ship? It's a standard pirate frigate. It's tempting to be wasteful on fuel and supplies when you have so much. Taking a good load, Terra. Yeah, this succeeded. Got our port report. 
need to up those veils, but let's just explore. Tough challenge. This one I almost always succeed and get a few fragments. Yeah, so should I just... Oh, it's tempting to just have it. But if I buy it, I won't be able to put anything in it. That's the problem. So 20 contraband concealment. I think uh, it's a chancy chance, and I've got got the app for it. Let's go for it. Let us go for it. Very nice. So now I have at least 20 slots where I can just do whatever the hell I want. So we'll head south. So this could mean we definitely want to go to the Isle of Cats, see if we can pick up some of the... Um, Memory wine or whatever it is. Is it red honey? Felt like that was probably really good value. Wrong move. There's some good trades. Yeah, a little bit that way, not a full south. Yeah, so supplies could become an issue before fuel in this case. And then, but hopefully I'll be get to Esteval, get my 10 supplies in exchange for a crewman. Long before that becomes a serious issue. Am I going to be able to get there? I, maybe I can avoid the fog. Yeah, this is nice. Ooh, we have something. Oh, it's just a frigate. See, I'm surprised the Pirate Poet doesn't just get more powerful ships. Over time. Oh, meet my contact. Oh, wow. Let's pile, pile the port report. Meet the contact. Once inside the hut, you might imagine yourself back in London. Bright candlelit thick carpets, a little spotted with damp, even wallpaper. Similarly spotted, two philosophers wait on you both, a little sulkily. The enigmatic gentleman will say nothing until you've both eaten dinner. A fine, if eclectic meal. Cavern trout, swamp fruits, spices from Adam's Way and Whittier served on Delft Ware at the lacquered Ming table. When you're done, he gives you a carefully itemized list of ship sightings, some excellent port and a little something to take away. Remember me to the Admiral, he says fondly. Oh, I have two. Oh, I have mutter salt. Hopefully that's useful. And I think supplies feels the smart way to go. Yes, now we're very well stocked and we still have a little 10 left to go. I think now's the time to use the strategic information to create, make a sense of memory, assemble vital intelligence. I have three of those sea stories, memory of distant shores. I feel like this one is the least useful, so I will use up those. I have a vital intelligence, which I believe will get more monies. Iron Republic, I cannot get a port report there very easily, but the, the fuel hopefully will be worth it, even though I won't be buying that much. I can still just cram it in the hold. Yeah, seemingly unopposed. Oh, 
and I almost feel like I have to up my iron to really be more competitive because there's no weapon upgrades that I can do. I'm gonna get an aft gun and try to do some like triple shot by spinning around in circles. But that's just a little ridiculous. Yeah, this is just so risky. It's a no more than 14 of five days. Fund that. That's my only options. And buy fuel. Yeah, I mean, if I have stats to give up for free in the future, maybe. Just fill her up. Yeah, that's a dangerous one. This big old boat. So to the Grand Geode it is. Still quite low on the terror scale. That terror, yep. Just in time. vital intelligence. Maybe I should be holding on to it. Wait, purchase an element of dawn. Crystals clean the walls. A defense against sunlight. I need a dawn's law. Element of dawn. Figure how to eat of names and a dread surmise. I've got many of things that must be done. Okay, lost a bit of terror. They don't sell anything. But yeah, I am down to two. Park Carnelian is right there. I might even be considering fighting the Birds of Paradise. I could at least take on one set of them, I'm sure, even if they do a lot of damage. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Full reverse. Full reverse. Ah, he's got me. Uh, now that's coming up. That's bad. Let's dig around. And see what is inside. Oh, an outlandish artifact. I mean, that's about an even trade in my book. But getting bogged down in this mess is not fun. Get me out of here. Right. Let's pick a random one. Irons is greater than fifty percent. Fulfill our spies' needs. That's not great. I'd rather do something fun. Seek intelligence. Not good. Influence affairs. Not even possible. 
We shall pan for sapphires. And we succeeded. You've gained 35 echoes worth braving the jungle's violet spore drifts. You find a narrow stream. You kneel among the red caped agar garics that spot its banks. It doesn't heave with sapphires as the story's promise, but an afternoon's panning yields a pocket full of glittering shards. So 35 echoes. It's okay. 20 echo. Not with my low terror, though. And none of that seems worth it. And that doesn't... Now, the, the coffee... This does seem rather worthwhile. I almost feel like, can I sell something? Hmm. Let's go. Been to the Melting Isles. So now it's a question of, I guess, Fathom King, most likely, in Adam's way. Uh, if I could just go straight to Adam's way, too. Might as well try to hit everything. Let's see if those birds of paradise show themselves. So I'm about as up for a fight as I'm ever going to be. Oh, alright. Get them as... Alright. Full reverse. Here they come. Fire. Fire. Okay, they're going to be doing some damage. Just accepted. It's gonna preclude any other big fights, I'm thinking. The damage we're gonna be taking. Nice. Hopefully, this is worth something. You've destroyed the Blue Prophets, a mortal battle against parrots. That's the Elder Continent for you. You can recover the feathers, record their cries. Speaks the name of those about to die. Let's recover the actual goodies. 65 Royal Blue Feather. So hopefully that is worth something. Have to see what the prices are in the market. Yeah, so we're down 100 to fight them. So I wouldn't want to do any new risky enemies that could totally destroy us. Although that's likely the response if I fought a similar kind of health baddie. and we shall dive, dive, dive. I don't think there's anything he can tell me about the Father's Bones. What happened to his name, strategies, he's like, talk to the priest, but the priest isn't available in London anymore, as far as I can tell. So I feel like asking the boon will get supplies, but we gain terror. So, whatever. Yeah, we don't have all the money in the world, so we can't just unlimitedly resupply and fuel. In fact, yeah, the hold has three empty spaces. But I think Esteval will put us in a good spot, because we'll go Adam's way. Ooh, interesting. 
Maybe Varshas, then Isle of Cats, then Visage Estival, or Estival Visage, depending on... Mm. Oh, there's one of those purple things. Yeah, we won't be trying to take on a purple thing without full health. Is this my best route? Just skim it, hopefully. Does appear it'll let me around, maybe. Uh-oh. It's glitched again. Oh, and that's gone altogether. It's our true heading. I'm willing to try it. Full reverse, come on. Discovered jellyfish from Adam's Cape. Chili Fleur, though. I know he has a rush. Oh. Right there, my secondary. Good. Can't see his health, though, which is really annoying. Okay, here we go. Full speed ahead. Let us have your goodies. We can scoop up what's left. I think we're better to let it disperse. Wait, one Z story? It looks like the flourishing of years, the grand shrine face of visage. Something about the eyes, the sternness of the mouth. Perhaps only that, it stares the roof, just as flourishing of years does. Now it dissolves. You could swear it's mouthing a word, home. Yeah, it's kind of a weak one for that big of a fight. We did gain those fragments, and we have at least one secret banked. Possibly two if I forgot about one of them. Terror could be better. Yeah, I... I can take him, but it's just like damage for not really good loot. Oh, I have to use my recent news, which is fine. So let's listen to a storyteller. Get our port report. Um, let me go to the hospital. Aspis campaigner to educate, root out the reckless poet. Hold up. I'll accept any existence. The cellar has discovered scraps of love poetry on the pantry floor. The abbot wants the perpetrator found before they dangerously inflame the inmate's passions. Let's give it a shot. The culprit. You catch the poet red-handed, composing by candlelight in a cupboard. Her hair is damp with sweat. She clutches the page she was writing tightly, knowing you'll try to take it. You watch its corners curl under her heat. Sorrowfully, the monks break the poet's pen and spill her ink. They give her magnum opus, the courier's wish to you for disposal. Succeeded, you have one romantic literature. In London, custom duty is paid on love stories, even illustrated. So this is the freebie. Carry the water. Sure. Succeeded, gain all sorts of tales. Uh, let's return. Assist, visit the that. Attend the funeral feast. Curiosities for an echo. Cabinet of Curiosities. Vision of the surface. It looks like we're done. So we return to the ship. Oh, and there is a store. Oh, we can buy beans here too for cheap. And Foxfire Candles. 
Mm. I'd rather sell it for 63. I feel like it's 50 in London. That's an extra slot for me. And, hmm. Isle of Cats, Varsha's. Uh, I think Varsha's, then. That's, that's what I'm feeling. Just have them in my sights. They're they're angled good. I believe they may have a rear cannon. Oh. Alright, here we go. Time to engage. That's right, run away. Two Foxfire candles, not nah. which is sixty echoes worth. It's just like can never get anything good. Same thing up the glorious dreadnoughts. Oh, if I can get south. Can break free, maybe. Okay, I'm at least in the sanity sphere. Let me on through. There we go. <laughs> Straight into a fog bank, really. But I think this is avoidable. Oh, another giant jellyfish. Sailor's praying. To Port Erdonmez. Let's get our port report going, and we shall come inside. Mm, let's start with the fungus carter we've messed with before. Continue our explorations. Oh, the pilgrimage. Oh, I have this. You have two of the Jeweled Youth's Invitation, and I... The Dower Face Nurse Approval, so I should be working at the hospital to achieve something. Offer the services of the Haunted Doctor... Oh, I might have to offer the services of a doctor. I'll offer your services. I can use it three times and maybe get lucky. Failed. Gained one terror. Apparently they do things very differently in Varchus, or maybe your anatomy is a little bit rusty. After you make a few fumbling attempts to put in a catheter, the dour-faced nurse declares you a menace and banishes you from the ward. Can I get... yeah, I get multiple attempts though. Oh, succeed. The dour-faced nurse watches you carefully as you clean wounds, change bandages, measure out precise dosages of cordials and remedial syrups. She gives you a satisfied nod when she sees for herself the steadiness of your hands, the sureness of your intent. The guards are pleased to have a new attendant and call you Nurse Temas with warm, welcoming mockery, which makes you feel part of their crew. Good work, the dour-faced nurse says at the end of your shift, handing you a cup of steaming mushroom tea. It revives you greatly. You detect a hint of tricep liqueur at the bottom of the cup, and something else, something of the south. I got that. The tower bells. I've gained fragments. I've gained a heart. I've gained iron. I've gained mirrors. Lost terror. Fantastic. Um, I'm done here. I feel like I have to succeed in all the places. The last one being 
Agnihorti's interest. That's probably the temple. Temple tower. We can listen to the mantras. The bas reliefs. Dream of smoke. Oh, the Agnihorti. Uh, modest challenge. The Varshasi, equivalent of a king or governor, he is overseeing the rituals and gives you a slanted glance. Sunseers, most important priests are sunseers. They wear necklaces of glowing sh shintalak beads. They'll pay well for more. I have one. No more than four of two. I can waste one on this. Or the shrine. Or the relic. Let's see how much they'll pay for it. Uh, one for two outlandish artifacts. That's a doubling of profits, I might add. Let us make at least one attempt. You go to pay your respects, and he is at pains to impress upon you that he is no despot or tyrant prince, but rather rules Varshas with the council, his council of sunseers and firekeepers. What do you think of Varshas so far, Temas? He asks, and you know better than to mutter anything but meaningless platitudes in response. He nods as though satisfied, but you catch him giving you sharp speculative looks as you wander the temple. It seems you have aroused his interest. You've gained a veils. Very nice. So I'm thinking I'd rather just have the full time to do so. Let's see what the relic gets me. It gets me 30 fragments. That's worthwhile, and I think I'm done for the day. Go to the inn. Now we can go to the pilgrimage. I'd rather have a full adventure's worth to do that, though. Courtyard kitchens to so the courtyard which gives us memories and fragments and then we shall attempt to not sleep and we have succeeded yet again and not yet of course not and continue on our journey to the Isle of Cats which I will actually go around in circles if I I'm gonna miss continuing that storyline again. I feel like I've been here two or three times and it's just... I just don't have something that awaits me in port. See, I'd like to be able to paint the ship, because like right now it's kind of a green color. But I'd like to have my options. Have a red ship or a blue ship. Or just different skins, you know. Oh, glitched. Yep, oh, I'll take this. Take my money. Just 200. Okay, we can buy a shipment of red honey for everything we've got. Or we can walk into the rose cart. What if you use a key if you don't open things with it? Yeah, I'm not quite ready to do that. Two Malfarious sisters unlock the gates. Your key is mostly ceremonial. Before you is a garden dipped in blood, a sea of petals crimson. Winding paths lead to irregular rows of cages, each covered in tangles of thorn and vine. Some of the prisoners inside the cages call out to you. Others mutter to themselves or weep. A few simply stare, hopeless and silent. We can talk to the Lady of the Gardens. 
Sure, why not? Such a beautiful night. I think the roses are whispering to me. Or is it the prisoners? I lose track. She tells you that she was once a prisoner in this very garden, but that she escaped and drank down her own memories sto stewed bright and honey sweet. And then I was whole again. She claps and laughs echoes from her twisting lips. Or maybe that was someone else. It most probably was, don't you think? It sounds very far-fetched now that, that I say it out loud. A breeze lifts her gold mesh veil. There is a shadowed emptiness where her eyes should be, and livid scars all around. A, the sort a nectar-maddened lamplighter bee might leave. When it burrowed into a brain, you shiver a little and give no answer. I've gained ten tales of terror. Yeah, so now it's kind of a... Try to arrive there with... 700 to spare. Um, it will reset for Estival, so I might just want to go Estival Visage. Just so that I will have port things to do. And then this fog can clear up. Just makes everybody happy. Now these should be buoys. Ooh. Oh, this would be an interesting fight. Got him. Gotcha. Oh, he's coming out again. Keep full reverse. That might do him. Very good. And I'm ready to go. So actually I have options. I can go to Visage first. I'm already in headed in that direction. Supplies and hunting trophies. Oh, lost the hunger. Very good. Yeah, so Estival, I feel like it. A little bit wasteful, but we've got supplies and fuel to burn. Oh, that's an elder, which I'd rather not risk him. Here the question is, oh, got plenty of space. So we shall gather supplies. Eight supplies, lost a crew. Pretty typical. So head straight to Visage. And I'll probably continue to do a little bit of frog, then go straight to Moon Moth. Technically, my stats are a little better now. Oh, yeah, so I got like 70 iron. Yeah, what to up? Veils, mirrors, or pages. Mm, it feels like mirrors has been popping up more as of late. Fight it is. Oh, 
Very good. Give me your monies. Only a hundred echoes. Having some weak pickings here. This recharge yet? Yes. Just avoid that fog as much as I can. Technically, that's a green zone. Let's be able to counteract it. Let's just head ashore. Take the frog. I will go to the library. Stealing is not important for me. I think writing notes in the margins feels like the best one. Then we can immediately trade masks. And the geometer's house. And then we bring him the two cakes. Where is it? Comb. Snakes. Bracelet. A string of rats. Oh, this is not the same. Cobras. A comb? I can try. F no. Flung away into a corner. Broken. He is disdainful. What use for a comb to a man whose head is covered in bare scales day and out? From a joker, for instance, baboon mask, it would have been a very good witticism. But for you, no. Wholly out of place. Try the temple. No, oh, the priests gather around a bull, capturing its blood in cups. This feels new. Try to bandage the bull. Ask whether the bull will be alright. It doesn't look well. I need better stuff. Collect some of the blood for yourself. Observe and make notes. Collect some blood for yourself, maybe? The priests don't prevent you, but they aren't precisely pleased either. In fact, they are highly suspicious of why Moon Moth would want such a thing until you explain that you need it to educate some especially ignorant and impetuous visitors. They then let you go ahead. An outlandish artifact. Very nice. Let's go back to the temple. The Wounded God. In the center of the temple, black bull with a white diamond in it on its face. It is tied in place with heavy ropes. And is wounded in the thigh. From this wound, it bleeds copiously without doubt. Oh, the same thing as before. Leave respectfully is my only option. Token of offering. Impeccable. The tokens are small and not very valuable. It suits your lower rank in the community. The priests arrange them on a table with other small items. As you go out, you pass by the more impressive gifts. Drafting tools from the chief geometer. Scales from jackal. Heap of foreign coin brought home by crocodile. Drafting tools, scales, okay, okay. Still have to figure out how to acquire the higher rolls. Uh, Nuncio, Utter Shroom, might as well. All right. Looks like the rat going in the vortex. Get some off my back. Good timing. Shift work. Make a study of what goes on in the back room. End your shift, accept responsibility for the envelope of heavy cream paper. Surely the sender was someone of consequence. Manners aren't what they used to be. 
It is an invitation to a dinner party now long in the past, an occasion for bishops and dons. The opening is formal, but the closing lapses into exasperation. Do please grant me the pleasure of the response this time, so that I may know whether to set your place. If you will not reply, this is positively the last time I will invite you anywhere. Another glance at the sender and the recipient. Ah, yes, with those two involved, this is at least saleable goss gossip. So one intriguing snippet and some fragments. That's worthwhile. Just head across as the fog rolls in. Dip up and away. And we might only be getting a port report. This one's so close. Oh, we don't want to fight a Conite vessel due to the suspicion factor. Despite having a little bit of coffee on board. Blemingens, for better or worse. Uh, I'm gonna do a north swing. War Trimoran. Okay, that's in the way. You're gonna crash into that. Boom. Probably take damage too. Well, I don't know if NPCs take damage in that way, but yeah. Oh, got a blue angler crab or eastern angler crab. Yeah, we're just trying to pass by. Yeah, he shouldn't be able to catch us on this parallel course. Oh, the wreck of the Nocturne. Oh, and I can dock there. <gasps> oh my. This changes everything. There was undiscovered stuff all along. And I have a port thing ready to go. The wreck of the Nocturne. The webbed hulk of this once proud vessel refuses to be dragged beneath the black waves. Alright, let's see. Board this empty mausoleum. The superstitions of the Z give even cynical sailors pause before ransacking half-downed vessels. Still, nothing in the code prohibits indulging curiosity. Takes one... candle. A harrowing emptiness. The fate of a nocturne is well known, and proven by the web stretches across its battered hull. Aside from those and a few signs of struggle, the contents lie mostly undisturbed. After all, what use have the masters of Savior's rocks for trinkets, baubles, gold, and gems? If the crew and passengers were lucky, they merely became lunch. If not, you've heard the stories. The kind of Z stories save for campfires on distant shores and cold nights, when the rigging creaks. Of the tree of ages, a harbinger of doom crewed by sorrow spiders. What happened to the lovers who found Storm's broken heart in a sandalwood box? The suicide songs of mere superstitions, nonsense, of course. Of course. Even so, it remains a relief when the candle finally melts and it is time to leave this place to the waves and rocks. Okay, so I've lost a candle. Let's use my other candle. Another harrowing emptiness. Maybe I have to have some other knowledge or quest item to do something with it. But that does prove that there was another place to discover. So I mistakenly thought that I had discovered all things, and that's why some of the stuff progressed. Just have to eat this fog. Oh, I see something in there that I don't want any part of. I should be able to survive hits running away from whatever it is if it does come at me. 
And of course, something awaits me. That stuff's all very risky. Trade. I'd rather keep my stuff. I'll take the trinkets. I'll put a blemming in shore. Why not? I have spare. An unseemly brawl. Whirls across the quay. Not quite with first insect house screech. Sorrow spiders converge on it. It's driven into the open. It smashes one spider car piece with its beak. Vaults another spider in a flash of fungal dexterity. Fences tendril a glare a whatever that is with a third, so they both dash up a well. Then it's gone into the webs. It's Eiffel slimes protecting it from their sticky adhesion. Spiders pour after it. Who will know its end? Not you. You had nothing to do with this. If anyone asked, you were probably never even here. Okay, so I have gained a propagation. I didn't think that it would survive. So I will be looking to avoid that. I should probably head across, except Pigmoat, because it's kind of out of the way. But then I could do Demew and come all the way back. But I could also go down that way, so that's that's the smarter play. So up to Empire. Try not to get into a fight with whatever that whatever that up there is. Kind of disappeared into the fog. Oh, I saw it near the nameplate. It looks like I've gotten out unscathed. The exploration... I could poke out a bit. Perhaps. Keeps drift. Yeah, let me discover this. It's one of those purple spikers. Get our report report. And the rest of this is not much. We do shore leave. No authority beyond the fence. But we came through supplies. With the help of a few crew members, you gather several crates of fruits and berries from the thick jungle. In exchange for a share, the monkeys of Port Stanton are oddly happy to help you sift through and find the best. Much of the crew subsequently suffers from terrible diarrhea. The two things are perhaps unrelated. And I don't have any more to work with. So with nine... I think I have to uh, perhaps skip the Sea of Lilies, and I can stretch to Mount Palm. Well, actually, because I could kind of go like that, but I want to hit cons. So yeah, I'm just gonna head due north. Whoop! Not that. I don't know if there's anything that exciting at the prison at this stage of the game, at least. Looked like a bunch of super high-risk stuff that if you had, like, super stats, you can at least attempt. Oops. That was an accident. Hope I don't blow up my engine.
Nope. Oh, I'll take that challenge. One fragment challenge. Yeah, I've I've done it several times and I've yet to explode. So I'm fairly lucky. I remember a run long, long ago where I did it once and got lucky and then twice and then I exploded. But maybe the higher class ships have a little better resilience. Or maybe it's directly connected to your iron. Or ship iron or something. Oh, I can oh, I did not go to the Ventner. So I'll just do one of these. I was a fool. Shore leave, no chance. I put a blemish short, probably get murdered instantly. Casually flung sp fishing spear pierces, it deflates. Yep. You may if you do enough, they'll eventually one of them will stick. I could show off. I don't have enough. Let's get our port port. Buy I I have a lot of space, technically. But that's not exactly the most profitable thing in existence. Irem, unless you have money, so to Con Chateau. I'll even use the Actually, there's a lower buoy. Let's use that one. Keep the terror low. Uh, but it's fog. Okay. Port, port, of course. Have the one side scrimshader carve something from the hunting trophy. Uh, but I would be short of hunting trophies, potentially. Buy Ivory for 27. Oh, I have a hidden uh, compartment, but there's nothing illegal to buy. How disappointing. Human souls, I know that I can make a little bit on that in London, but it's like, none of these are all that great. I think I may have a guaranteed diplomat in here, possibly, if I remember right. I suppose we'll at least look at the Nephrite quarter. Ah, uh, Mutter Salt. And these, I can sell these for two. But I, everything sold here is generally a ripoff. So this Mutter Salt might be worth even more. Um, yeah, I would only want to buy here. Yeah, so I have a slightly better deal. In the, oh, I have, I have room. If I'm going to trade them in. Serene Aquarium. Oh, it's an auxiliary that gives mirrors. It's very interesting. Can wander. Purchase. I'll find out what your spies need. 
Oh, 80% chance. Mmm, Veil's Challenge. Go for it. Succeeded. We've gained one more. We have a few spies. Tale of Terror. Lost our diplomatic agent. So now stuff like the Port Report. Still not the best. And what do they need now? We need, if we had another spy, we could do a 53% chance. I mean, that's pretty good if I can up my veils. Um, I'm gonna go four. Just to be safe before I get to Mount Palmerson. And Khan's heart almost always feels like a waste. Though, in this case, I will have the coffee to deal with. Which I'm kind of just throwing away money. About 300 echoes worth. Okay, so we get one favor for that. And we can get another favor for that. And then petition for access to the Nephrite Quarter. Or cruise past, 100% chance. Time and intercede with the Leopard. Two. You have two. As the Leopard, this intercede with the Timon. Timon's mercy of three. Plead your case with the Timon. have two. No more than nine. Mercy of four. No more than nine. Condescension four. You have two. You need leopard's condescension. Petition need five. Need four. Okay, so I'd have to Spend some more. Just got slightly confused there for a second. So confused, in fact, that I'm going to end the episode as we head to this next place. So catch y'all then.